Looks like there's power, but the screen's kind of jacked up. This is why you should have thermostat covers in public spaces, because that's what the residents are doing to the thermostat. And now this is jacked. There we go. Compressor's not kicking on after replacing the thermostat cover, so heading up to the roof now. Okay, here's our three ton unit. Definitely not cooling. Does not feel like the compressor's on. We have a standing pressure. Compressor is not pumping. Let's find out why. Setting the meter to the MFD. Stick the probes right in the holes. From common to Herm, we're reading zero. Capacitor's bad. Gonna get a five by 45 MFD run capacitor. All right, let's see what we got. Come on, give me a cap today, baby. Now, I do not have a 45 by five run capacitor. So I'm gonna show you a little trick. Okay, our brown goes to fan. And we got our commons, which is purple and red on this particular diagram. And we've got our Herm. And I also have a five MFD run capacitor that I'm gonna run parallel to the Herm and common of this 40 to make it the 45 by five. Make sure there's no coil behind there. Now we're just gonna wire these two in parallel. All right, the compressor did come on. These coils are caked, so I've already got a hose up here. It'll take two minutes to wash this down, so I'm gonna put this cover on and do that real quick. All right, she's cooling. I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. I'm gonna pull some keys for the next couple of work orders. It is below 100. I really don't like gauging up to units unless there's a reason to. I probably shouldn't have gauged up to this. This unit's never leaked before that I know of, but I'm gonna pull some keys and come back to this one. refrigerant pumping or a little refrigerant to into the roof. Float switch looks good. Yep, compressor's running, but definitely not pumping out any anything. Probably completely empty. Here's our gym AC, looking good. I'm not gonna dial in uh, pressures or anything. There's never been a history of adding refrigerant to this unit so i'm grabbing these gauges and going over to the unit that i believe is low charge you can see signs of oil everywhere the dirt sticks to it there's a uh, kind of an oil mark right there going up to here these particular goodman condensing coils leak up here i've made a couple of videos of me repairing them and finding the leaks on these but no repairs today. Today's gonna be a gas and go, and I'll let the advisor here know what's going on. 
Nothing. I like to do quick spurts when charging 410A. It's a very easy refrigerant to overshoot the charge. Got about 15 degrees subcooling. I'm happy with that. This thing is leaking fast. It'll probably be 10 degrees subcooling in a week or less. So I'm not gonna dial in the charge. Super accurate. I just wanna get them going for now and move on to the next AC call. Refrigerant's pumping through. We got 120 psi on the suction and we have uh, 40 degree sub cooling so this is overcharged a little bit I'm gonna go grab the recovery tank and recovery machine and remove some refrigerant got about 14 degrees sub cooling now Gonna check the superheat. About 19 degrees superheat. Well, easier day than I thought it would be. Last two air conditioning work orders canceled and wanted to reschedule for Monday, which is cool because it's Friday and time to start the weekend. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. See you on the next one.